Hey there! In uh, this video today, I will be showing you how to do a bloom technique. Welcome to Art by Susan King. Thank you for stopping by. So today I'm in my sunroom and um, I'm enjoying this really nice warm day. We've had a lot uh, we've had a few warm days in the last the last week anyway. Um, it's really nice, so I'm enjoying it in here this this morning. And um, I'm just gonna let you know that we are doing a bloom technique today, and I'll be showing you my new cell activator in it and how well it works. So let's get started. These are the colors I'm using today. I've got Amsterdam uh, Permanent Red Violet, Reflex Orange by Amsterdam, Azo Orange by Amsterdam, the Quitex Basics Quadacquadan Magenta, and Arteza Pearl Deep Brown. The uh, cell activator is Gesso, and it's Dollar Rowney Gesso. Black gesso. Uh, doesn't say what kind of black, it's just black. Zinser latex extender. And um, Amsterdam oxide black paint. So I mix these three together. My recipe will be in the description below my video. If you're on the computer, you hit the little thing that says show more and a drop down menu comes and you can see the recipe as well as some other information. If you're on your cell phone, there's a little arrow under the video, under the video on the right hand side, little arrow, down arrow. Click that and it does the same thing. You get a drop down menu. My recipe uh, for my bloom will be in there. Hello, I am back and I've already added the pillow. I um, spread the pillow right to the edges and I didn't put that much on, at least I hope I didn't, um, because I don't want much to run off. So I, I hope I'm not I don't plan to spin very much, so I wanted it not really thick on here. So what I'm gonna do, so what I'm gonna do is I'm adding a puddles in either corner and then blowing them towards the middle. And See how that looks. I've never done anything like this before, so it's just an experiment. <clears throat> okay, so I don't even have my spoons ready. Okay, I'm starting with magenta, Quadacquadan magenta from Liquitex Basics. Putting this, these in the corners. Uh, I'm not really sure. I thought I was gonna put it closer to the middle, but. I've already done it, so I'm going to move the colors, I guess, closer to the middle. I don't know. Let's just see how it goes here. Okay, that's that one. Then I'm using Reflex Orange by Amsterdam. Okay. 
And then Azo Orange by Amsterdam. Hope there's not too much orange. I didn't really want to put that much on there of the reflex, but I did. Whoops, that was a mistake. <clears throat> now, this is deep brown. I forget who it is. It's, I'm using leftover paints today, so I believe it's Arteza. That's my door squeaking. It's a really nice day out today, so I have the door open. And I'm making a mess here. Wondering whether I should take that off or not. I think I'll just leave it, leave well enough alone. So now, now my cell activator. Okay, probably have too much paint on. <laughs> too much, but <clears throat> we'll see. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the camera angle. All right. Okay, so... Doing one side first, then the other. Looking good so far. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just blow out the ends a bit, the edges a bit. I don't really like this too much. So... I'm just going to cover it over. And then just blow it again. And it's not 
much better, a little bit better. All right, I think that looks pretty. I'm going to bring the camera back over here. Okay, doesn't that look nice? I'll show you a close up of all the cells. Very awesome. All right, so let's just spin this. I don't want any more to come off this edge, so I don't know what's going on over here. It looks like there might be something. Something. I could be wrong. I thought there was something stuck here, but there isn't. Um, I think it's just, I don't know. Yeah, it is. There was a little blob there. I thought maybe if I tilt it this way a bit. I wanted it to come over the edges a little more, so I'm just going to grab some paint that dripped over and just put it on the edges. <clears throat> Corners, I should say, not the edges. Okay. I don't know, maybe it looks good just like that. I need more white over here. I think I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm just going to add some paint to this to the edges because it didn't quite go over and I just hope I hope there's not too much paint on the canvas I'll do this later. I'm not going to do this on camera, so I'm just going to add paint or just see if it will run down on its own. And then what I'll do, because I think there is a lot of paint on here, I'm going to end up covering this so it dries slower. If you think that you might have too much paint on your canvas and you let it dry just like this in the open air, it could crack. Uh, so to stop that from happening, you cover it with a box or I cover mine with a um, laundry basket and then put a, a garbage bag over top to let a little bit of air in. Otherwise it'll take forever to dry. But I think this looks really nice. I'll give you a close up. It's amazing the cell activator zinser paint and black gesso dalarani black gesso all right i will show you it when it's dry 
Okay, I came back with the dried results. It dried pretty good. It didn't dry, take as long to dry as I um, thought it would. Just going to show you a close-up. This side's a little bit dark around here, but still looks kind of cool. I like it. I like the style. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. If you want to see more of my videos, they should be popping up on the screen at the moment. And uh, have a great day. Bye for now.